Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you for a couple minutes about one of the most, probably the most important aspect of any engine swap. It doesn't matter what it is. The most important item for your engine swap, motor mounts. Let's face it, without motor mounts, it doesn't matter what engine you've got, it's not going to go into the vehicle you want it to go into. You have to have mounts. It starts with the mounts, putting the engine in and fitting everything else in from there, whether it's fitment for the oil pan, transmission, uh, cooling, power steering, you name it, air conditioning. It's all important, but without the engine being mounted into the chassis of whatever you're swapping first, that other stuff will get screwed up and won't work out if the foundation is not laid with those motor mounts. Now, are all motor mounts made the same? No, they are not. And that's what I wanted to show you today. Let me show you my example. Okay, here's a couple of mounts I'm working with that I wanted to show you. This is a great example. You're looking at eBay, Amazon. Uh, a lot of that, most of it probably, is going to be coming from China, or at least overseas, versus uh, a U.S. company. Now, there are U.S. companies that sell on those two channels, and you can find them that way, or go to their actual site. But this is a good example. These mounts on the side here, these are black. They've been powder coated. These are from a USA company. In this case, Metal Tech Manufacturing. That's a company I enjoy using. And uh, their quality is always good. Never have an issue with them. Let me show you the welds. If you can get down in there and just look. The welds are really nice. They're consistent. Everything is heavy duty, it's thick metal, quarter inch steel. Uh, it's, it's made really nice. And this is another one that has the bushings already in place. And one of the minor details you can tell is on a bushing that this uh, center shaft that's within the bushing should come to the edge because when the, the ears of the uh, other part of the mount go on the outside and you tighten it down, you don't want to tighten against the face of the bushing because if you do it can cause it to start binding so you want it to tighten up on either side for this for this steel shaft that way it's snug nothing's going to come apart but there is enough movement that this bushing can do its job now let's look at something that came from china i bought these because uh well there was another part of the kit i wanted to use that actually was pretty good but look at this version. Uh, it has not been powder coated, thank goodness. But look at all the, the crap on the metal. Look at the quality of the welds. Not so hot. In fact, that's pretty bad. Especially for something that uh, is mass produced that should have had a, a higher quality control. But a minor thing is, you'll notice on this side of the bushing, get down here, the face of this uh, bushing shell is even with the steel plate. On this side, it is not. You can see how it's set off a little bit. And here's what happens when you put your bushings in place. On the inside, and the bushing, <laughs> it's definitely a lower quality bushing to begin with. You can kind of see how it does fit. But look on this side, the bushing because the shell is not even with the edge of the bushing it, or the base plate, the bushing itself is up against this bottom plate. So that when you put the, the, when you fasten the other portion of this mount, the tabs over this, it's going to squeeze down on this. And it's going to mess up that bushing because that bushing is up against that base plate. But also notice the, Notice the steel shaft inside. It doesn't come out to the edge on either side. A little closer on that side, definitely not on this side. So when you're tightening up that motor mount on this, you're really pushing against the bushing, and then that bushing is up against this outer edge here. It's going to tear that bushing up over time. Sure, these are cheap, but this is not an area that you want to cheap out on. Spend a little extra, 
go American. Get some quality made mounts that once you put the motor in place, you don't have to worry about it anymore. With these, sooner or later, this is going to come back and hurt you, whether time or money or possibly damaged equipment. So remember, when you're planning to do your build, whatever that is, whatever engine you're using, whatever chassis you're using, research it first. Find out what other people are using. Find brands that produce the amounts that you want to use, or the style that you need. Compare them. A $40 or $50 set versus a $100 set. I know it's an extra 60 bucks, but in the scheme of things, the amount of time, effort, energy, money you're putting into a project, an extra $60 into the foundation of your swap is well worth it. So don't buy crap. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Check us in the next video.